let's take a look at this week's tip. This is a very cool tip, um, really to help you show uh, different types of charts. So I'm going to just zoom in here just so we can all see. So what I want to point out to you is that I have these three charts here. So we have a bar chart, we have a line chart, and a pie chart. Look, I know I hate pie charts. Um, I always say not to use them, and here I am using them. Well, I just wanted to use them for, sake, for the sake of example because maybe there's a time where you want to give the user some interactive capability of selecting between these three charts or your three charts, whichever you have. Um, you want to give them some interactivity to say, hey, maybe I want to see this one, maybe I want to see this one, maybe I want to see both, all or none. So there's a way to do this, and you can even do it without any VBA. Now, how about that? That's really, that's really something cool. So let's uh, start a new tab here. I'm going to call this uh, Chart Filter. I'm going to hit Enter, and that's going to be our new tab. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take these three charts. So one, I'm going to hold Control. Control can help me select one. Hold Control and select the other. Um, and hold Control one last time. So one, two, three. I'm going to hit Control C to copy. So I'm just going to copy them. And I'm going to go place them on my chart filter spreadsheet page. So here, so here it is. I put it on the worksheet tab. Um, so what I'm going to do next here is I'm going to say chart type. And we, we have bar here, line here, and pie chart. So I'm going to type in bar, line, and pie. Pi. And you're going to see in a moment why that is important, what you can do with that. So I'm going to highlight this whole thing, and I'm going to put a filter on it. And you're going to see how this gets very cool, how we can select between these three. So what I'm first going to start doing here is just making these just a little bit bigger. And yeah, it is true that these uh, charts are going to size with it, but don't worry about that for a moment. I'm going to actually make this one a little bit bigger here. Now, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go uh, to this design tab here or, I'm sorry, let's say the Format tab, not the Design tab. I'm going to go to the Format tab. And then here's a button here that says Align. I'm going to click that. It's going to bring up this drop-down. And here you see it says Snap to Grid. So I'm going to click that. Now, what's that, what is that going to do? It's going to help me snap sh uh, shapes, in this case, um, the charts, to different cells or different grid lines. But what I can do is I can actually snap it to a cell. By that, I mean I'm just going to size it within this um, first cell here in A2. So... Remember, that's where I wrote bar. I'm going to actually size the bar chart right into there. See that? Just like that. So it's right inside. And then I'm actually going to go do the same thing with the line chart. Now, this part can be a little tedious, so uh, it doesn't work with a lot of charts, but it does work with a small number as we've used here. So I'm just going to do that right there. Scroll down just a little bit. And, you know, when you do this snap to grid, it's going to actually snap to a lot of different pieces. But here we only really want it to snap to the bottom of three. And what's really cool about this is now that um, it's within this cell, if I size this out, you know it's going to stretch with it. Um, if I make this wider, it's going to stretch with it as well. So um, we're going to put the pie chart right here. And again, not exactly the most fun part, but you know, um, on your screen with a maybe not zoomed in so much, it won't be as tedious, but I'll just draw it. So you see we have the, chart, the bar chart, the line chart, and the pie chart. Now, let's remember what we see behind here. A2 had bar, um, A3 had line, and A4 had pie. And now what we know about auto filter is that it allows us to select those, um, those charts, or I should say those items of text. So if I click this down filter here, you see I have select all, bar, line, and pie. So guess what I can do? Let's say I only want to see the bar chart. I can hit OK and only the bar chart showing. Let's say I want to only see the pie chart in the bar chart, um, but no line chart. Now these items are showing. Let's say I only want to see the line chart in the bar or pie chart. So now it doesn't really matter if you have different types of charts. You can actually put anything in here. You can put a shape. Um, but this works really well if you're navigating between different charts. And you don't want, I know that I showed it in other videos that you can uh, change charts by way of formula, but maybe you can't do that, or maybe you don't want to do that because you have different charts. So, um, you know, one chart, that's a line chart, it's not going to cover all the data that's going in. So this is a really nifty way of using the auto filter to uh, change what data you're looking at and what charts you're looking at. And of course, um, this is all in our example file, which will be provided in the download uh, when we post uh, this tip. So that is my tip for you to show you how to uh, do different uh, charts with the auto filter.